now going to move on to what I like to call the twisted Hackaway merger. The twisted part means how, just how the hackle is going to be mounted in the thorax. So let's get started here so I can show you something a little bit different what to do with your hackle versus just wrapping it straight through or around your hook shank. First we're going to start off with a curved hook again. Again, making sure that a hook eye is down. And we'll get our thread on here. Snip off our thread. And we're ready for to tie in our trailing shuck. For the trailing shuck, once again, we're going to take some brown Z-Lon. And twist it together and even it up. And we're ready to tie it in. And you always want to start in the thorax area and wrap backwards. That way you're going to ensure that you have a nice smooth underbody. And then you want to trim the length of your shock. So it's about half the length of the hook shank or about three-eighths or a quarter however, or whatever you desire. Next for the body, this one instead of the buyout, we're going to go back to the D-rib. Here again, the reasoning behind it is the D-rib is going to be heavier, thus the body will sink below the surface while the thorax remains on top. So we're going to wrap this, or tie it down I should say, and then we're going to wrap our body. Now on smaller flies, say 18, 20, 22s, First couple wraps, you want to stretch this stuff just real tight so you get a nice tight wrap. And then as you start going forward, you can just start slowly ease up on the tension. And as you do that, you build in an automatic taper to your body. That's one advantage of using the D rib or even the micro tubing over the biot. And virtually one, one step you can do your body and have a taper as well. Another nice thing about the D-rib is you get that translucency and kind of buggy appeal, wet look, like a freshly emerged body has just come from a shuck and that's just exactly what we want. And it's especially noticeable when you use a color balance like, like what we're using here from Ot Light really makes a big difference because you, you're actually seeing what the fly looks like it, just as if you were outside using it. Now we're ready to start in the thorax area. So we're going to stand this hook up and we're going to take our thread back into the thorax area and just a little beyond. Basically to about the hook point. Here we're going to tie in some gills and that's going to be made out of marabou. So we're going to just take some marabou and just cut out a few fibers. Kind of stroke your fingers through them, grab the tips. Then we'll come up here and just cut that excess off here, just like so. And we'll tie that in right there. What we're going to do next is just hold it up, give it a twist, and all those marabou fibers stand straight out from the stem. That way when you wrap it, it just makes the fiber stand out away from the, the hook. All you're going to need is just a couple of turns of it. And if you need to, if the marabou is just a little bit too short or you have too big of fingers, you can always grab it with some hackle pliers and wrap it. Cut off our excess. And now we're ready to add our hackle. For our hackle, what I'm going to be using is one of Whiting's gen genetic saddle hackles dyed in the blue winged olive color. So what I'm going to do is pull this up here strip off a few of the barbs like so and then when I tie it in 
I'm going to do so on the side towards me and just a little bit on the underside of the fly. And since I'm get, getting a little bit too close to the hook eye, I'll just stroke everything back a little bit. And we'll just take our thread back to where I want it. Just like so. Now, what we're going to do is add a little dubbing to our thread. Here again, since we're using the olive color, we're going to use the blue winged olive microfly dubbing. And what we're going to do is just put just a little bit on here. First what I'll do is I'll put this onto the thorax just to get a li little bit down. Cover it up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to get into something a little bit new. Or I guess can't really say new. It's probably been done before, but something you may not have seen in quite a while. What we're going to do is put a little dubbing on the thread. And then what I'm going to do is twist the hackle around it. And as you can tell by this incre incredibly tight shot from this POV camera, you can see that hackle just wrap right around the thread and dubbing. And the reason we, for doing this is when I start to wrap the hackle, it's going to make the hackle fibers look like it's naturally mixed within the dubbing and just make it look that much more natural. We're just going to take a few turns here, back off our thread, and since I had a little too much dubbing, the nice thing about this dubbing, since it's short fibered, I had a little bit too much and I can just pull the excess off, and we're going to tie down the hackle. This twisted hackle method can be used on any of the previous flies we used have done so far or just about any dry fly that you would use whether elk hair, caddis, adams, whatever. What, where I really like to use this on the emerger is now it makes it just that much easier to kind of pull the fibers out to the side from the underside leaving me with nothing but hackle out the sides and top like a compare done. And the last thing we're, we're going to do is tie in our wing. And for that we're going to be using some CDC. And the reason I like to use CDC, well one, it's the right color which is a medium dun color. And that's gener generally what you're going to be using on about 90% of your mayflies anyway. It's easy to use and work with and quite frankly it just works. And for other techniques in using CDC, you can also view the other CDC videos that Video Adventures have put out and just to give you some more ideas on using the feather. But for now what we're going to do just lay this right on top and making sure that it's not any longer than the body. Hold, hold it right there on top. Tie it down. Take several turns of thread. You're basically going to be tying the CDC in just like you would an elk hair wing for an elk hair caddis. Lift it up. Take a few turns in front of it. And we're ready to whip finish it off. Come in with your fingers, whip finish it. Or if you don't like to use your fingers, you can always use the Stonefly whip finishing tool. But however you do it, you just want to make sure you have a nice tight knot in there. And if you desire, you can also put some head cement. And then what we're going to do is just 
cut off this excess CDC just like you would an elk hair caddis which is the length of the hook guy. That way you have like a little head and then, as well as your wing. And the idea came from for doing this wing is in which Rene Harrop does some of his adult mayfly patterns. And that's what I like to call the twisted hackle emerger.